The first month of 2014 saw home sale and listing totals outpace historical averages in the Greater Vancouver housing market. There were 1,760 homes sold on the region's MLS in January. That's a 30% increase from a year ago. It's also 7% above our 10-year January sales average. On the supply side, there were 5,345 homes listed for sale on the MLS in Greater Vancouver. That's 4% higher than last January and 17% higher than the 10-year average in the region. In all, there's 12,602 homes for sale on the MLS in Greater Vancouver today. This brought our sales to active listing ratio to 14%. Generally, analysts say that downward pressure on home prices occurs when the ratio dips below the 12% mark, while home prices often experience upward pressure when it reaches the 20 to 22% range in a particular community for a sustained period of time. We've been in a balanced market for nearly a year. This has meant steady home sale and listing activity accompanied by gradual and modest increases in home prices. If you're looking to sell your home in a balanced market, it's critical that it's priced right for today's conditions. The benchmark price for all residential properties in Greater Vancouver rose 3.2% over the last 12 months to $606,800. When we break home prices down by property type, we see that detached and condominiums have both increased a little over 3% in the last year, while townhomes have increased just under 2% over the same period. For further housing market information, go to the news and statistics section of this website. For the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, I'm Sandra Wyant.